Leicestershire collapse as Notts romps to three-day win. Leicestershire will have been pleased with their first innings efforts, putting on 440. That is until Nottinghamshire replied and in some style, led by a lightning tongue from Ben Duckett. They batted through day two to move within 67 runs of their hosts total, with five wickets in hand. Momentum shifting at the halfway stage. Mullaney moved to his half century, his side now closing in on 400. That came from the bat of Tom Moores, Leicestershire's lead now just 40. Mullaney would fall out to Mulder, caught behind for a well-made 62. Patterson White joined Moores at the crease, and with one flicked off his toes from the bowling of White, all the way through to the leg side boundary, Knotts had moved into the lead. The 50 partnership came from 67 balls, Leicestershire still unable to really get to grips with the task at hand quite yet. The visitors refused to lift their foot from the floor, steaming ahead and closing in on 500 runs. They'd have to get there without Patterson White, out caught at slip by Ackerman for 34, unable to withdraw the bat in time. Pattinson followed in his footsteps a few balls later, out caught by Hill for one off the bowling of Mulder. Moores was the man to take Nottinghamshire to 500. It had taken the side one ball more than 100 overs to get there, and the single took Moores to 50 off 91 balls. It was the fifth half century of the innings. By the time Hutton and Moores wandered in for lunch, the score was up to 512 for eight, and Knotts were now leading by 72. They'd added a further three to the total when Wright beat Hutton's defences to bowl him for 14. Nottinghamshire now down to their final wicket. Moores took that as his cue to hit the afterburners. Two sixes in one Parkinson over, raced the score along, 20 taken from the captain's six deliveries, who then took himself out of the attack and watched on as Moores took a heavy blow to the hand and couldn't go on. He retired not out on 81 to bring the Notts innings to an end on 548, their lead 108 runs. Duckett had been the star for Notts, but Clark, Moores, Hamid, and Mullaney had all added scores of over 50 to turn the tables on the hosts. Mulder led the attack with three wickets, but like Wright and Davis, he'd shipped more than 100 runs in the process. The first task for Azad and Patel was to erase their visitors' advantage, but they got as far as 21 when Hutton found the edge and sub-keeper Schadendorf took the catch behind the stumps. After an electric 100 in the first innings, Hill was a danger, but Knotts got rid of him early, out caught by Duckett off the bowling of Patterson for six. The Fox's other first innings Centurion went cheaply too. Ackerman out LBW for nine to Hutton. They limped past 50, but Knotts were on the charge and soon had another. Mulder out for three, caught by Duckett off the bowling of Patterson. It was all starting to fall apart for Leicestershire. Welch and Azad had the score up to 70 before the break, but the number six wouldn't make it to tee. Out LBW to Patterson White for 13, the Foxes still 38 behind. Azad looked to be crucial to Leicestershire's hopes, but he went soon after tee, caught behind off Patterson for 34. Mike, usually so destructive down the order, wasn't able to get going this time. Knots were closing in on victory as he nicked off to Patterson White for seven. They stumbled along, Parkinson and Swindles trying desperately to cling on, but to no avail. The captain fell for a duck, out LBW to the impressive Patterson White, who now had three. Davis mustered just one from his 13 deliveries before falling caught behind off the bowling of Pattinson. Just one more wicket stood between Knotts and an innings victory, which was forthcoming for them. Swindles out caught by Pattinson for Patterson White's fourth. Leicestershire had crumbled to 99 all out and been defeated by an innings and nine runs. It had been a sensational display from the visitors. The pitch had been a great one for batting, shown by the two huge first innings totals. But they'd found enough with the ball to record a really dominant victory, with Duckett starring with the bat and Patterson White finishing with seven in the match. After eight matches, the hunt for a win goes on for the Foxes. They've now lost five. They'll return to action in the second week of July, away at fellow strugglers Sussex, while Nottinghamshire have the chance to build on this performance when Middlesex come to Trent Bridge in two weeks' time.